A freeze so deep it cracked a rail line in Edmonton today. Albertans are bracing against a work week of extreme weather. I should have worn thicker socks, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to lose feeling of my toes. You gotta keep moving. Once you stop, the feet 40 below boots, but it doesn't do you much good if you're not moving. Yeah. So how cold is it? Well, cold enough that just about everything freezes within seconds of hitting the air. Including, it seems, facial hair. Weather Network reporter Kyle Britton has a new cool wardrobe. It's even too cold for penguins. The Calgary Zoo had to cancel their popular penguin walk. And with warnings to keep pets inside, many doggos are bundled up for very short potty breaks. This kind of cold comes with real risks, from icy roads to frostbite. At one point, so many people cranked up the heat at once, the province issued an energy warning. Of course, for those without a home, there is urgent concern. Thank you so much. Did you like a pair of socks as well? This Calgary outreach team is swamped, providing emergency assistance. We're over capacity right now, and so, you know, in our shelter and just trying to deal with calls. Donations of cold weather clothing are pouring in at another shelter, people looking out for each other and waiting it out. Uh, going to Mexico in February, um, otherwise a uh, day at a time. I, I don't mind it that much actually, I've worked outside all my life. Everyone else is counting down to the weekend when temperatures are forecast to be a bit closer to seasonal. Carolyn Dunn, CBC News, Calgary. Sub-zero temperatures have led to record-breaking demand for electricity next door in B.C. as well. And this might not get better because, as Greg Rasmussen tells us, much of the province is bracing for yet another storm. Vancouverites know how to handle winter rain, but umbrellas and running shoes are coming up short, taking on this week's wintry blast. Cold, icy, snowy, very cold for Vancouver. I've had one slight slip, but I walk like a penguin. Apparently that's how you get over the ice. The region's busiest highway, the Trans-Canada, was at times a sheet of black ice. Vehicles were in the ditch, commuters and commercial vehicles crawled along. Heavy snow hit Sunday, and many are critical that two days later, roads remain treacherous. Everything that's wet, it's going to freeze. Uh, so we had a really severe event, particularly in the eastern Fraser Valley. Side streets remain an icy mess in many areas. Across the region, crews struggle to get salt on the roads. Even veteran snowplow operators are surprised at the conditions. I mean, we get snow, of course we get snow. We get ice, of course we get ice. But when it freezes this hard, it's very difficult to keep up to it. Not a lot of folks out with shorts today, I guess. For some, the best option was to simply ignore the snow and cold. Born and raised on the island and just always had shorts. At this point, don't, don't own pants, so <laughs> just keep wearing shorts. Okay. Have a good one. It's unusual for temperatures to be this low for this long here. And it's not over yet, with warnings about Arctic outflow winds and more snow on the way. Greg Rasmussen, CBC News, Vancouver.